Hey everyone and welcome back to our channel with a new tutorial. Today's tutorial is based upon a video that I posted a few days ago on how to do 3D tracking with Bojo, then benefiting from those tracking data in After Effects by compositing 3D objects from Element 3D. And since some of you asked for a tutorial, I'm going to do it today. Now it's going to be a bit long, so I'm going to divide it into two tutorials. So without further ado, let's get started. So, for me the 3D built-in tracker in After Effects didn't work. So I went on to Buju and I decided to do the 3D tracking there. Now for Buju to do proper 3D tracking, it is recommended that you export your video as a JPEG sequence. So I'm going to do this now. I'm going to set a path for it. I've already did it before, but I'm going to show you anyway. And I'm going to click on it, and I'm going to wait for it till it's over. Okay, now that it's done, I'm going to open up Boju so that I import the JPEG sequence into the software. Now click on, this is the interface of Bojo, make sure you are in the toolbox bar and then uh, click on import JPEG sequence and navigate your JPEG sequence. Click on the first image in the JPEG sequence and click open. Now you need to make sure that the frame rate is the same as your original video. You can click on your clip here and check the frame rate. Make sure it's OK, click apply and close. Now in order to track only those points, you need to isolate them, meaning you need to make a mask around them and animate it. So go to this mask tool here, click on it and you want to animate the mask through the whole clip. So click on it and try to draw your mask and make it just around the edges of the tracking area and animate it as you can see here. Now for me to save time I'm going to open up directly a save file that I, in which I already animated the mask. But you get the idea anyway. So here I am opening it. We're doing this mask thing so that the camera tracking software doesn't get confused by the background or the static background. So here is my mask, all animated and well. Next you need to invert the mask so that the tracking will ignore the, all the rest of the area and only take in consideration the area in the middle. After that you can click on tracking feature and let it do its work. Press start when you are ready. I'm going to speed up the process here so it doesn't waste time. So as you can see it is doing its job, so when it's done, I'm going to scroll, scroll here, as you can see it seems like it's done a good job, so I'm going to solve the camera, so click on solve camera, and it will try to make a camera out of this tracking, I'm going to speed up this here as well. Okay, now the solving is done and it seems we got a proper tracking data here. Now make sure that uh, in the solve you have only one camera solved. 
which means you have successfully successfully tracked all your points. If you get more than one camera, this means your tracking fails and you have like, you know, multiple cameras with every camera having a bit of tracking data and you can only export one camera at once. So after this we are going to export the tracking data. Make sure the export type is for After Effects and the scale we are going to make that 100. So choose your path and click Export. It's going to be quick. We are going to jump straight back to After Effects, double click and locate your tracking data. Click on them and click on import. It will be imported as a composition that contains a lot of nodes and a camera in 3D space in which you can import your video as you can see here. And this is the camera at the bottom. So we are going to choose a node as a reference and we are going to hide the rest of them using the shy switch tool. So I'm going to keep this null number 21 and I'm going to hide the rest. So I'm going to activate the tool here and hide those as well. So we can work, you know, in, in some space. So here is our proper tracking in the composition. What I'm going to do now is import a texture of the notebook that has no tracking points on it and I'm going to use it to hide those tracking points in the video so I took this picture then I cut it off using Photoshop and this is the result so I'm going to import it drop it in, into the composition make it 3D and press AA and switch accept slide to off I'm going to add lights later on so I'm going to do this right now I'm going to take the position of the null in which we are using as a reference and copy it to the texture in 3D space it's quite big so we are going to scale it down and then adjust the rotation as well to fit into the surface of our notebook it's going to be a little bit tricky but take your time with this in order to try and pervert it as much as you can I'm going to speed up this here as well so we don't waste time. Now what I'm going to do is add mask on the left side and on the right side of the texture and then I'm going to feather them a bit in order to help with blending it with the texture original video underneath it. So I'm going to click on the mask and then and start feathering it a bit. I'm going also to color correct it to match the color of the notebook in the video. So I'm going to use curves or maybe hue and saturation. Yes, I'm going to remove the curves and drop in the hue and saturation. And I'm going to do a little bit of tweaking. Until I'm... Okay, this is looks fine to me. Let's see here. No. Alright. Okay, this looks fine to me. Now I'm going to stop right here for part one of this tutorial and we are going to resume on the next video 
So thank you for watching and if you have any question or suggestion drop them in the comments below. Make sure to like this video and subscribe to our channel. See you next time.